Good evening and welcome to the 2019 LEAP graduation ceremonies. Thank you, Mr. Matt Olson, LEAP music teacher for our processional music. My name is Paul Gore. I am a social studies and English teacher here at LEAP. It is my pleasure to welcome you as we congratulate the class of 2019. If you have not done this yet, will you please make sure that your phone is on silent? And I would like now to call Churhe Mu to sing the national anthem. Please direct your attention to the flag as Churhe Mu sings the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem. Thank you. Please rise. Santos to address the class of 2019. Graduates, you may be seated while Ms. Santos delivers her remarks. Ms. Santos. Good evening. Hello, families, distinguished guests, and LEAP staff and students, both past and present. I want to welcome you to tonight's commencement ceremony. It is with great pride that we congratulate this graduating class. I'd like to welcome two of our honored guests this evening. We are honored to have the St. Paul Public School Superintendent, Dr. Joe Gother, with us tonight. And school board member, Mary Vanderwerth. Dr. Gother. Dr. Gothard, our senior class would like to present you with a gift. Letty? to when you started at LEAP, and I want you to think about all that you have learned along the way. You have learned more than just a new language and new academic skills. You have learned to drive cars and navigate a new part of the world. You reached across language barriers and made friends at LEAP. A lot has happened. As you have grown up, some experiences were good and some maybe not so good. I hope you would learn from all those experiences. There may have been setbacks along the way, but the sun always comes up, and the next morning, giving us a new dawn, a new chance, a new day. You are sitting there right now. This is your new day. Tonight, you, 
20 students have earned the right to call yourselves graduates of Leap High School. Some ha may have done it faster, some may have struggled more than others, but regardless, you are all here and we are celebrating your new day. So with this new day, I want you to do a few things, just a few things in your life. The first thing is never stop learning. There are always new skills to learn and techniques to adapt. When you look at the most successful people in the world, they understand the importance of continuing to learn something new. Get engaged in your community. Your experience is important. You can make a difference in someone's life. Share your opinions. Be passionate in what you do. Wrap yourself into your studies, your job, your relationship. Find a career you love. Another thing I want you to do is continue being courageous. Go after your dreams, even if they seem impossible to obtain. Look how far your courage has taken you so far. You have overcome great obstacles already, and your, your experience will serve you well in the future. Remember that your teachers and I are so proud of you. We want you to come back and tell us what you're doing. Come back and be role models for the LEAP students who will return in the fall and in the years to come. The commencement graduation ceremony might feel like an end, but it's really another beginning. Commence means to begin, to start, and you are starting the new chapter of your journey. Your teachers and I have worked hard to prepare you for the next steps. And perseverance is what has made the biggest difference in your lives and all your hard work. Many people will say congratulations tonight, but take a moment to congratulate yourself on the significant accomplishment. You have earned a high school diploma. That diploma will make new opportunities possible for you. Make the most of these opportunities and show yourself, your family, your community, and the world what you can do. Thank you, class of 2019. Thank you, Ms. Santos. We will now hear from school board member Mary Vanderwert with her address to the class of 2019. School member Vanderwert. Hello, everybody. Um, Superintendent Gothard, Principal Santos, teachers, families, and most of all graduates. I can't tell you how happy I am to represent the City of St. Paul and the St. Paul School Board as we recognize your achievements this evening. So from all of us, a heartfelt congratulations. So graduates, I, I um, was thinking about you as I walked over here tonight. For me, you are incredibly inspirational. You have, many of you have just been in the United States a few years. You've learned English, you've learned a new culture, and now you're graduating, and that is extraordinary. You are unique and wonderful. So besides the academic portion of your education, um, you've also developed your creativity and your problem solving. You've learned to manage your time. Uh, many of you, I, I'm sure, are working as well as going to school. You've learned to work with others, and especially others from different backgrounds. You've learned to think critically and to communicate your thoughts. And you've learned that the world is an exciting place to be. You can also see that the world is in need of your talents and skills. We are counting on you to help us move our world forward, and you are ready to meet the challenges and the opportunities ahead. So your time with us is really just the beginning, as Principal Santos said. You have many years ahead that will be filled with opportunities to challenge yourself, to explore other parts of the world, to meet, and, and, uh, meet amazing and inspiring people, and to lead and inspire others as well, just like you inspire me. We can't wait to see what you accomplish in five years, in 10 years, and on. And when you reach your goals, Remember, it's important to remember that you do not get there alone and that many others who are coming behind you can use your support, your experience, and your wisdom. Don't be afraid to help them along the way. They need you, 
St. Paul needs you, and the world needs you. The possibilities are great, and we know that you will be great too. We are very proud to see you cross this stage, receive your diploma, and continue on your journey. And families, I want to say thank you so much for allowing the St. Paul Public Schools to be your educational partner. It has been a privilege to work with your children, and we congratulate you on this milestone as well. So our congratulations, our love, and our very best wishes go with all of you. Congratulations, class of 2019. We will hear next from the St. Paul Public Schools Superintendent, Dr. Joe Gothard. Dr. Gothard. Principal Santos, colleagues, families, and of course, graduates from the class of 2019. I'm delighted to be here with you tonight to offer my congratulations and also again to say thank you for the nice gift. You are a distinguished group of 21 students with different backgrounds, experiences, and dreams. And today you are one, the class of 2019. Congratulations. <laughs> this graduating class is going on to do great things. There may be more education in store for you. It could be a two-year or four-year college. There might be careers and jobs that you're going to, perhaps the military. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, National Guard. Whatever your calling is, whatever your adventure is, we know that you're determined to do your best. You've shown us that here in, at Leap High School and St. Paul Public Schools. But that also means the pressure's on. We need a world that looks like you to do great work and to save the world. We need you to be a great part of our communities and we need you to be strong and great leaders. We're proud of you, and there's no doubt about it. All of us in St. Paul Public Schools are proud of what you've accomplished in your life so far, and the best part is that there's so much more to come. You have unlimited potential to be great, and we want you to be great in whatever community you end up in, and hopefully it's right here in St. Paul if that's what you choose. One other thing we've seen around the nation, around the world, is something that people in my line of work have known for a long time. Young people have tremendous potential to change the status quo. When things are wrong around you, you stand up and you speak out. You let us know when you've been wronged and you band together as a community to make change. And I hope that's something you've learned to be proud of, to be confident with, and you will make a commitment to us that you will continue to live your lives this way. What you've learned here and what you learn in the coming years will truly make your mark on the world. You're all bright, accomplished, young adults who don't need me to provide you with a list of the stuff we need you to do because you're on your own path and we believe that you will stand for what's right. I'll read you a quote from a poet, Maya Angelou. She said, just do right. Right may not be expedient, it may not be profitable, but it will satisfy your soul. It brings you the kind of protection that bodyguards can't give you. So try to live your life in a way that you will not regret years of useless virtue and energy and timidity. Take up the battle. Take it up. It's yours. This is your life. This is your world. Are you sensing a theme here, graduates? We're counting on you. This is your world, and we want you to make it better for all of us. While I have my moment at the podium, I want to recognize students who did not quit. Whether you were born outside of the United States, worked several jobs to help your family, you had to navigate unexpected obstacles to get here tonight. We are so proud of you, and we're also very glad that you're here. You make St. Paul Public Schools better. You make us a stronger and better community because you help us understand what it means to be together. So thank you for choosing St. Paul Public Schools. It has been a privilege to provide your education and a privilege to learn from you. I wish you the best from the bottom of my heart, and on behalf of our Board of Education and our entire St. Paul Public Schools con community, congratulations, class of 2019.
Thank you, Dr. Gothard. It's a leap tradition to have the graduating class choose one teacher, one staff member to speak at each graduation. This year, the graduating class has chosen Ms. Sipporn Lissick, who is a science teacher at LEAP, and will be addressing the class next. Ms. Lissick. Good evening, Principal Santos, Superintendent Gall, Board Member Van Oort, LEAP staff, members, and the 2019 graduating class. I am honored to have this opportunity to speak at the graduation ceremony tonight. My beloved students, tonight I want to share with you how be I became a refugee and also some experiences I've had since then. I was 10 years old when the Civil War in my country had ended. People thought that there would be peace. But a few days later, the new government, the communists, gathered all opposing army personnel into confinement. They then sent these soldiers to remote villages. My father was among one of them. We had no idea where they sent him. The next day, the communists forced all people from the cities to evacuate their homes. I had to leave our home in Badambang with my brothers, with my mother and three young siblings on foot. We could only take whatever possessions we could carry. We walked for two days without knowing where we were going or if we would see my father again. We passed several small villages until my mother had to decide on one of them to stay at. As we walked toward this small village, we saw a familiar figure moving toward us. We were overjoyed when we realized that the person approaching us was actually my father. I consider this to be one of the great miracles in my life. We lived under the communist ruling for three years. During this time, everyone who was who was the age of nine and older, were forced to work 12 hours a day with very little food to eat. There was no modern medicine or any type of health care. Many people died from starvation and diseases. No one was allowed to get any education. And if the government suspected that you were educated, they would simply kill you. Religious worship of any kind was also forbidden under penalty of death. It took another war to defeat the communist ruling in my country. In 1979, my family and I escaped to a refugee camp in Thailand. There, life was a little better, but we still faced many hardships. The camp was run by different humanitarian agencies who provided us with clean water to drink, enough food to eat, and little huts to live in. Children were able to go to school. The future seemed a little brighter for me. It had been six years since I was allowed to go to school or have any kind of academic education. I took as many classes as I could. I enjoyed being with friends, learned math, reading, writing, and learning science. I believe that was, I, that was when I fell in love with science and math. 
A little over a year went by my, before my family was moved to a processing camp. It was where they interviewed refugees before letting them go to their permanent countries. On the day we were scheduled to leave for the new camp, we woke up very early so that we would not miss our name being called to board the bus. There were hundreds of families waiting there, and they called them alphabetically by last name. And because our name began with the letter Y, we waited all day long to be called. By the evening of that day, they told us that it was getting too late to travel, so they sent us back to our little hut. Needless to say, we were very disappointed, but mostly we were very scared that it would be years before they allow us to leave that camp. My mother told us that night, if we ever made it to America, we should change our last name from Yin to a name that starts with the letter A. <laughs> but I had to settle for a name that begins with the letter L. Just kidding, Dan Lissick, I love you. <laughs> Fortunately, the next day, they started calling names from where they left off, and we boarded the bus for our new camp. In June of, the, uh, to, of 1981, After the seemingly endless interviews, medical examinations, and a whole bunch of other tests, we were granted permission to board the plane heading to our new country. And Minnesota is where we landed. My family settled in St. Paul. The night before I started my first day of school in America, I was so nervous, I could not sleep all night. I was elated and terrified at the same time. I spent the whole night thinking about all the opportunities that I would have with a high school and a college education in America. I was worried that no one would talk to me at school because I could not speak English. I was scared that I would get on the wrong bus. I was also worried that I would not get enough food to eat at lunch and whether I would like American food. But on that first day, I did not miss my bus and the people at Central High School were kind and helpful to me. However, learning English was very difficult, especially saying the S's. But once I learned that you need to add an S to some words, I added S to everything, like saying, May I have some breads and butters, please? Throughout the four years of high school, I made new friends and learned a lot of English. My teachers nurtured my love for math and science. My counselors helped me apply for colleges and get scholarships. I also learned to love American food, as long as it has rice with it. In 1985, I received my diploma from Humboldt High School, and I am proud to be a St. Paul School graduate. I accepted the offer to the College of St. Catherine. After four years at St. Catherine's, I continued on to the University of St. Thomas, where I learned to become That's right, the best chemistry teacher you ever had. Because I'm the only one here. I have been helping St. Paul School students learn English, math, science, and have been going to Valley Fair with these students, rain or shine, for the last 30 years. And I hope to continue to do so for the rest of my teaching career and longer, probably. Graduates, 
I know all of you can relate to the story I have just told. My story is not unique. Every student at Leap High School has a similar story to tell. You need to go out there and tell your stories. Tell everyone how you have lived through oppressive governments or terrorist groups in your own countries. Tell them how you have escaped with your life. Tell them how you have learned to communicate in strange language that is not your own. Tell them how you have chosen to go to school. Tell them how you had to work very hard in all your classes. Tell them how you befriended people from different cultures. Tell them how you have learned to survive in your neighborhood and in your new country. And most importantly, tell them how you plan to improve your life and the life of everyone around you in your community and in this country. There is one more thing I want to share with you. That I am very grateful to all the workers of the United States of America. Without their tax money and their generosity, none of the refugees would be here enjoying all the benefits and opportunities available to everyone in this country. I will leave you with a quote from Theodore Roosevelt, one of our great presidents. Do what you can with all you have, wherever you are. Thank you and congratulations the year 2019 LEAP graduates. I love you. Thank you, Ms. Lissick. It is also a LEAP tradition that the graduating class chooses a student to speak at graduation ceremonies. This year, Leslie Esmeralda Ramirez is the class representative to speak at graduation. Leslie? It is my pleasure to welcome families, friends, teachers, and our graduates, and more important, our guests, to graduation day at Leap High School. Class of 2019, I just want to say that I really enjoy growing up with you. I know that I haven't talked to all of you guys, but graduating with my class really makes me proud and happy. Even though we didn't talk and know each other so well, I can assure you that I found a lovely group of friends that I can call my family. Each one of us are talented, powerful, strong, and intelligent, that I can say that we are the future of this country and that we can show to the rest of the people that we, the immigrants, can change this country and the world. As Michelle Obama said, it is absolutely still possible to make a difference. I know that high school was a strong stage in our lives, and that coming from a different country made it even harder. We worked so hard these past years. We had our own problems, but even with problems, we kept our heads up, and we finally made it through. As I said, some of us might have problems, but we know that we are not alone. We have a lovely and trustworthy staff in school that we can count on. I want to say to every single teacher and staff, thank you. Thank you for supporting us, dealing with us, and even more important, 
Thank you for showing us the value of loving and respecting others. We appreciate your support. We appreciate your efforts, and we appreciate your patience. Thank you, teachers and staff, for loving us with every bit of your heart. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. The next item on our graduation ceremony is the presentation of the class of 2019. Is this yours, Ms. Santos? Ms. Santos will present the class of 2019. Confirmation of diplomas. Which one did we cross out for you? I'm next, this one. Class, Class of 2019, this is your day to celebrate your accomplishments as you have completed high school. I would like to take this opportunity to thank family and staff from Leap High School. Each of you has contributed to the success of these graduates and you have a lot to be proud of. As principal, I'm really proud of you. St. Paul School Board member, Mary Vanderberg, it is my pleasure to present to you Leap's, students stand up, Leap's High School graduating student class of 2019. As principal, I affirm that each student who receives a diploma today has met or exceeded the requirements for a high school diploma as determined by the State of Minnesota Board of Education and the St. Paul Public School. And now, the graduating class of 2019. This is one of the best parts of being on the school board. I get to make it official. So, by the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota and by the Board of Education of Independent School District number 625, I hereby confer upon each of you the high school diploma with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, school board member Vandoorne. This is why you're here, right? This is what you came to see is the graduates receiving their diplomas. We also have another tradition at LEAP for the graduates to receive their diploma and then say a few words in whichever language you would like to speak. Family members and friends, I would ask that if you have any flowers or balloons or gifts for the graduates that you wait until after the ceremony so that we don't have a backup or a traffic jam at the other end of the stage. The graduates are ready and ushers can direct the graduates to the stairs. We will read the names, step up, receive your diploma, and if you have a few words of thanks or anything that you would like to say, please do. Leticia Valderrama Estrada. Thank you, Mom, for ser papá y mamá al mismo tiempo. Yeah. Family and my teachers 
uh, for helping me and pushing me up so that I can reach my destination. Thank you. Day two. Thank you for oh God, thank you for my parents, thank you for teacher, thank you for my friend, everything. So I want to say the current. Tabli do my life, the mood the comedy, the ramu mege, yo possibly ba, but yo what I said by hair body, the ramu de water. You put up with the hair, it's a kid, I'm so happy. Thank you. A clue two. Thank you. Queen <laughs> Kenya. I'd like to thank all of you for being here tonight. Um, and this is for all of you. Be you and love you. Thank you. Tolkien. I just want to say thank you to all my teachers, friends, family, uh, for always supporting me. Thank you. Carolina Guadalupe Landaverde Mena. I just want to say thank you to everyone, and in Spanish, gracias a todos. Juventina Lopez Vasquez. I just want to say thank you to all my teachers to support me all the time on their class. And I just want to say thank you to all my friends. Thank you. Bowman. say thank you so much everyone come here today and support yours and especially my parents my brother and sister whoever my friends students and you guys are my supporting system without you guys I cannot do anything and thank you so much you guys and I want to say my language and it will be now the movie the movie the movie the movie the movie Congratulations, class of 2019, and thank you for everything. And I would like to say thanks to all the teachers that have been uh, with me these two years in this school. And thank you. Gracias. A 
Anissa Ahmed Mohammed. I'm so glad that you all made it to participate our happiest day. I would like to thank each one of you. And I just want to say to all the graduates, never give up because we have a lot of things to do. We all have like a moment that is waiting, that is waiting for us, a happy moment. So thank you. Sure, Thank you, God, to my family, teachers, and my friends. Thank you for your support, love, encouragement. So I mean this. Thank you. Percy Paul. I just want to thank, thank you to my parents and teachers and all of you. Thank you. Leslie Esmeralda Ramirez Vialta. I just want to say thank you to my teachers friends and family that believed in me. Gracias a todos. Gracias, mami, por ser papá y mamá. Gracias a mi abuelita, porque siempre ha estado apoyándome. Gracias a todos. Aquí Yes, I just want to say thanks to my mom and my dad. Yes, dad, ma, made it. To hey Tan. First of all, I would like to thank God to all the way be with me to finish my first day. Thanks to my parents, thanks to my teachers, thanks to my friends who always support me and encourage me. Thank you all. Sang Vang. Hi everyone. So I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends that's helped me. And especially I want to say big thanks to all teachers at LIV that's helped me and support me all the time. Thank you. Hey, Pawa. I just want to say to my family and the teacher and friend for supporting me and make me what I'm today.
Thank Pao Yang. to say thank you to uh, our teacher and, uh, and uh, State and Leaf High School for uh, uh, giving me the opportunity to graduate this year. I didn't uh, think I would graduate and I thought what I was doing is bad or wrong sometimes. So I uh, uh, apologize. Uh, also, thank you to all the teacher who uh, spent time and effort teaching me and everyone up to uh, graduate graduation this year. Uh, I do not have uh, anything to give back to all the hardworking people here and school, but my few words of thanks and uh, gratitude again, and thank you everyone. I would like to take a brief moment to thank our audience, family, friends, LEAP staff, past and present, any LEAP current students who can look to these graduates as role models for perhaps next year or sometime in the future. Thank you for being a good audience, and I hope you'll join us outside after the graduates leave the auditorium. Class of 2019, allow me to congratulate you, and it has been an honor to be your MC this evening. I would like to thank our stage guests, and I would like to thank Mr. Matt Olson for the recessional music. Please wait until the graduates have left the auditorium, and then join us for some refreshments outside. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here at the 2019 LEAP graduation.